let's talk about the concept of thick provisioning in virtualization. When we create our virtual machines, we need to create also a virtual disk or virtual hard drive. Thick provisioning is similar to the partitioning of a hard disk drive in an actual physical computer or traditional computer. In this diagram, we have a traditional computer and the hard disk drive is 128 gigabytes of total disk space. And then this disk space or this hard disk has been partitioned into three logical groupings, a C drive of 28 gigabytes for the operating system, an E drive of 80 gigabytes for our data files, and then a partition of 20 gigabytes of leftover free space or unallocated free space. In this situation, these partitions have been pre-allocated and the logical space provided by the partitions is equal to the amount of actual physical space set aside on the disk. This is similar to how we would thick provision a virtual disk for a virtual machine. You set aside an amount of space that is set aside for that virtual hard drive. So in this case, we have a thick virtual disk or thick provisioned hard drive, and it occupies this much space on your data store or on your total storage space. Now in contrast, thin provisioning or a thin virtual disk, storage space is set aside for the virtual hard drive on your data store. But the actual amount that's occupied on the data store is only the amount needed and will grow as the virtual machine saves more files and uses more space. There is a configured ceiling to the size of the virtual hard disk, but even this can be expanded and grown dynamically by expanding the partition of the virtual hard drive. This is a better use of your storage space because you're only using as much space as you need. I'm using NDG's NetLab for a remote lab on VMware virtualization. I have the two VMware ESXi hosts. I've got my storage area network, a vCenter server to manage my virtual data center, and a client to connect to the vCenter. So I'll click on the virtual client, and you can see I already have a web browser open and I'm connected to vCenter. Let's click on hosts and clusters. And in here you can see that I have my training data center. I've got a lab cluster. There's the ESXi1 and ESXi2 hosts. And then I have two virtual machines. If I select VM01, I can right click on it and go to edit settings. And under edit settings, I can click on the hard disk. This is the virtual hard disk. And you can see that currently we're using five gigabytes and the maximum size of the hard disk drive or virtual hard disk is 21 gigabytes. You can also see the type of provisioning is a thin provisioned hard disk. 